The mission of the department is to have science be the basis for which we develop new knowledge to educate our trainees, including our fellows and our residents, and also to develop and deliver the very best of clinical care. We now have new excitement in the neurosciences in which we are building upon that base of knowledge, developing more information and better treatment systems in the addictions, and also targeting other areas that have not been traditionally part of the department. There are many important clinical programs in the department. Perhaps the first one I should talk about is the Maryland Psychiatric Research Center, which is dedicated to the treatment of the chronically mentally ill. The Maryland Psychiatric Research Center is a University of Maryland School of Medicine organized research center. We're dedicated towards translational research with the goal of trying to improve the lives of people with schizophrenia. The main goals of our center are to conduct translational research that takes advantage of new discoveries in basic brain neuroscience and moves them into the clinical arena with the ultimate goal of developing novel and innovative treatments for people with schizophrenia. At our research center, there's a lot of collaboration going on between basic scientists and clinical scientists, as well as people outside of the research center and out in, within the department and outside of the university. Doing research just in a vacuum within the basic science side doesn't allow patients on the other end to get the full benefit. So at our research center, it's been important as a team to work together from the, from the basic science side, clear through clinical trials in order to take all the work that people are doing, our basic scientists are doing, to eventually in the end be able to impact real world patients that we're treating today. Another aspect of work that we do is in the community. Community outreach is an important element of population health management because it is necessary to reach an entire group of people needing services rather than just to deliver services to people that are seeking them themselves. What is special about almost all of our clinical programs here at the University of Maryland is that for over 30 years we have been very much involved with people in their communities, in their homes working with families from birth to end of life and helping individuals get back their lives. A third very large program that we have are the addiction programs. We probably run one of the largest opiate treatment centers in the United States. I am the director of CTRANS, which is the Center for Translational Research and Adversity, Neurodevelopment, and Substance Abuse. And our goal is to develop a community of researchers and clinicians across the university, um, the School of Medicine and the Department of Psychiatry to address critical issues in the area of substance abuse research, treatment, and practice. The Department of Psychiatry has prioritized translational research and our center embodies that mission um, by establishing collaborations across the, the translational spectrum, if you will, from the basic sciences and the preclinical sciences to the development of interventions and a better understanding of the phenomena that we're studying, and then to disseminate that information so that it will behoove the community and policymakers to act on that and improve the human condition overall. Education is very important to us because it allows us to pass on what we've learned to the generations that follow. Within the clinical setting, we have a huge element of education. We incorporate trainees of all levels into our clinical programs, working side by side with seasoned therapists and clinicians. We have a training grant which helps to provide training for postdoctoral students, both PhDs and MDs, and we're actively involved in multiple aspects of residency training. With science, we're able to link education and clinical practice with a sound basis of understanding of what is wrong, how we can affect treatments for it, and how we can continue to learn about the disease and pass on that information to our trainees and future doctors.